Good morning, it is 8.05 on a Monday. We're in the workshop and today's project is going to be a cantilever gate. Now, I've never made a cantilever gate before, so this is going to be my first time. So we're going to just jump straight in. I'll show you now what the opening is and the size of the gate that we're going to make. It's going to be a struggle in this shop with size and stuff. But nevertheless, uh, we're going to achieve the same results. So let's jump straight in and uh, make this gate. So the property we're making the gate for, it has a wall, a, a wall that the gate's going to be sliding behind. That distance is 4.3 meters. The opening itself from the edge of the wall to the returning post is 3.3 meters. So gate wise, we're going to be making the cantilever gate at 4.4 meters long overall. It's going to be just over a meter high. And then we've got rail heads to go on the top. So I've got two eight wheeled carriages. I've got a tensioner that I've fabricated and made to weld into the back piece there. There's a receiver that we're not going to be using on this job. There's a front guide wheel and then I've got four nylon rollers. Like I've mentioned already, I've cut all the uprights and I've cut all the framework and I've marked out my centers for the uprights. As you can see, it's pretty much the full length of the shop. Okay, so what we've done is it's all clamped to the table. I've got some squares in the corner. I've got some magnets holding this last uh, support up. I've got it all clamped down to the bench, as you can see. I've checked this for square all the way across. So let's get you up there and let's start welding. I'll spray the table over now with anti-splatter and yeah let's just see how it turns out Okay, so moving on to the next bit. It's completely welded, all the frames welded all the way around. All the picket uprights are welded all the way around. As you can see, it's not fixed to the bench now, and there's no warpage. There's no warpage in it at all, which I'm really, really happy with, because 
You know, I've never overhung a, a workpiece on a bench before. We've got to put the channel on the bottom, which is what the carriage is running. There's like a C-section channel that looks like that, if you like, and that gets welded to the bottom of that, and then these run through it like that. So we're going to put that on now. Unfortunately, it's not one piece, it's two pieces, so I'll have to clamp it together uh, and see how to do that. It's also galvanised, that's a bit horrible. But we'll get that on now. So we'll have to drop it down and once that's done, it's the rail heads and yeah, it's, it's finished. Okay, so it is now completely finished. I'll give you a quick look round. So the rear tensioning went well. I have tested this and it works really well. I didn't even need to strengthen this back piece. Uh, it doesn't bend and it pulls the gate right over. Sitting on the uh, channel. just done inch and a quarter welds every 400 both sides and then there's a join here but I've tested it and uh, it rolls through that freely it doesn't really affect it that end will be capped off and this end will be capped off as well 4.4 meters. All the rail heads are on now. They're all welded on. That went quite nice. So yeah. So thanks for watching up to this point. Please subscribe and uh, Let's jump over to the install bit. Okay, so it's now fitted. This was the opening with the post. This is the gate. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.